Hi and welcome back to my channel. As I said on my previous uh, video, I was going to go over with you how I plan my best year yet. And so I always think that the, the new year is always your uh, opportunity to have your uh, best year yet to plan for it. So I'm not going to pretend, you know, trying to have this uh, all in my head, like memorize and everything and bottle up in my head. I'm just going to look at my notes and I'm going to share with you my steps of how I plan my best year. And so the first thing that we have to do is to think about uh, our accomplishments. Because sometimes what happens is that we start, we get like a, a little bit bogged down in what it is, you know, from doing the same thing all the time, all year round. And, and we think, you know, we are on this uh, endless loop of doing tasks, but it's like, we don't seem to appreciate what we have uh, accomplished, how we have moved forward. And so when it comes to the, you know, the end of the year, the new year is a good opportunity to then take a moment and start and think about it. Uh, you know, one of the purpose of this exercise is for you to create, you know, draw a clear line on what it is that you want to uh, accomplish. And so it's, it's a really good exercise. I usually do it like um, during December, what I usually do during the holiday season, once the holiday season starts, you know, I start reflecting on the year and I start brainstorming about the things that I would like to do on, in general terms in the coming year. But then when January comes in, comes in that is when I actually start planning because then I can reflect, you know, uh, on what I have done. Um, doing this, it will give you, it, it's like, we're it's like a roadmap for you to start creating your, your best year, to start planning on your business. So the first thing I will say that you need to do first step is to reflect on the past 12 months. Uh, you have to, you know, think about those big or small uh, goals that you accomplish and that they help you move forward. That's, that's the first thing. Um, because sometimes we just keep going, you know, um, like I said, on that endless loop and going one thing after the other and the, after the other, but we never really um, think about all of that. Whatever, no, no matter how, little or, or much you don't you as long as you took step as long as you took act you know you took action you move forward it's just that it's not until we sit down and start writing it down and thinking about it you know is that we start noticing oh i did this oh yeah but i got that done and i did this and you know so i like this exercise because it's like it it, it give you an idea um uh, for you to um, take a moment and and and, and and think about what you have done. So one of the things is I want you to focus on those on on the core areas that are have been instrumental for your business and life uh, growth. You know. So the first one is financial uh, milestones. So take a moment to you know and appreciate your finite financial victories, how, you know, everything that you have earned during that year. It doesn't have to be necessarily directly related to your business. It could be, in my case, you know, not, it's not just going to be from my business, but also from, from my job because I, I had, a, I have a job. So, um, anything, any, any, anything that comes unexpectedly from different sources is, is a reason for you to celebrate and, and to be grateful for. So it, don't, don't, you know, don't just think about, well, my business didn't do as much as I wanted to, or, you know, I didn't get to do whatever, um, um, amount you have set yourself to do. So no matter what, you know, uh, recognize the steps that you have taken, uh, in order to 
earn that that uh, accomplish those financial goals the next one is your business evolution that will be the second thing that you re you have to reflect on uh your business vision whether it has evolved you know what time what transformations have taken place during the year uh for me it was this year was it was good because it, it, i took the time to really think about narrowing down my niche and and so you know and how i wanted to serve in in, in what um, capacity I was I could help you guys you know build and grow thriving businesses and so that is when I decided that I wanted to focus working with women who are in their 40s and you know and 50s and onwards so that gave me an opportunity to uh, you know this year I was able to get the clarity that I wanted to get when it comes to working with my target audience so i want you to do the same you know think about your business evolution in my case that that's what it was but in your case could be something totally different it could be anything about uh, your marketing uh, the services that you have decided to provide whether you want to downsize in the amount of services that you want to provide or the type of coaching that you want to uh provide whether you decided that you no longer want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching and you want to do uh group coaching or you want it you want to add um, a new course you know or you add it all those things did you do that all of that what what have you done in in the past year where you experienced a business evolution and in in my case like i said it was that another one will be audience expansion uh, dive into the growth of your audience and community so what what impact have you had in a broader scale in my case and i'm going to be very honest uh, that's something i need to work on you see because i took the time to think about what i have accomplished in those areas in this one specifically, I know I have to work on. And that is one of my goals for 2024, is to have a expansion in audience expansion, okay? I want to reach out to more people. So a lot of my energy is gonna go into that. So that's something that you have to think about, you know, on, on that one. Uh, number fourth will be your spiritual alignment. Uh, consider alignment uh, the alignment of your business journey with your spiritual well-being uh, and and think about this how your spiritual growth influence your approach to entrepreneurship okay one of the things that I like to work on is is that area my spiritual um, alignment because when you are aligned as a whole you are more likely to do more because you feel better because you do things that move you that that inspire you that motivate you so to me that is very important how and your you know the type of and the lifestyle that you want to have you have to work a lot with that area in order to you know feel a balance have a, a balance and and be able to work better when it comes to you know your business entrepreneurship so for me that's an area that is quite i i i tend to put um a lot of attention so that's basically um what is the steps number one when it comes to reflect on your on the previous year you know in this case 2023 mm -hmm. uh, think about all of this i'm just gonna remind you um you know first you celebrate what you have accomplished big or small you have to celebrate those because i always say those are that is what fuels your um it fuels you it's a fuel for you to keep going to to, to continue moving forward and taking action. So then what you have to think more specifically, then we go into the financial uh, milestones, uh, business ev evolution, audience expansion. 
okay so we're gonna go now uh and and then last one a spiritual uh alignment and then we're going moving to um step number two which is empower your future with organized intent and this is quite interesting one and and it's one that i like because i like to i like to work i am quite good at being organizing and planning and all of that is you know I, I do it naturally so um this is the moment where you need to start channeling all your positive energy into setting the stage for your best year this is where the the secret sauce start. you know you start mixing it up to create this sauce that is gonna help you plan the new year for the new year so what is the value of organizing accomplishments for future reference? Well, I will say this is crucial because you need to revisit those things uh, whenever we need a boost in motivation, like I was saying, or guidance. So this is this is like when when the going gets hard and you start like feeling down and it's like what's and you start thinking well what is the point of all of this and I'm, I'm trying so hard and nothing seems to happen this is why you need to organize uh, your future with intention and so i'm going to share with you some of the uh, practical steps which i use um and it's this is basically to organize your past achieve, achievements and i'm going to tell you that, right from the start now i have a folder in on in you know in my computer where i have all the testimonials uh, from my different clients um you know when i'm feeling when i start doubting myself about what i do i go to that folder and start reading them and that is a quite a good boost of motivation for me and inspiration to continue my journey in a, in in this uh inter in entrepreneurship and as a business coach so what is the first thing well you create a success success journal that's the first first thing and jot down whatever achievement uh, you you have you have gotten you know you you have done um, include like the details of the date what you have accomplished um, and how it made you feel so that is very good that, that's very important i'm gonna tell you even this you know and it has nothing to do with my uh being a, a business coach but because i'm i'm in a, a board of, of director f um for a community i right now need to do a report on you know like the president report report year for the year and but throughout the year i have been writing down okay what we from where i started which was you know nothing there was basically it was all the place was all all over so what, what is it that i have gotten successfully i have also made note of the things that that i was i wasn't very successful at but mainly I think I, I have been very lucky and I have a lot of things that, you know, I have achieved with the help of obviously of the other members. But like I said, it, it just doesn't have, it, this exercise, not only for your business, it applies for any area of your life. Even, even if you have a, a, a job, it also applies. So uh, include the details, like the day, what you accomplish, and how it made you feel. And I'm telling you, as an instant boost of uh, motivation and, 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 and a feel-good uh, moment. So I highly recommend that you do that and do it often. You know, always write it down, always keep track of those things because it does really help. The next thing is categorize your win your wins whether you know uh, they're finance personal uh, personal growth business development or relationships write it all down that's why it's so important you know to journal i always journal and it helps me a great deal so seriously try that um 
because also you can see the pattern pat patterns of 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 you know and areas of a strength and also obviously it will give you an idea where do you have to um improve the next one is visualize your progress and this is quite simple a vision board of what it is that you would like to accomplish the things that you would like to to have to to acquire the you know it's like your dream board there you can have a chart a chart or a digital timeline if you want to um seeing your progress is also very good for for staying motivated one of the things that i do which is not so much uh, a vision board although if you can see in the back here i have a little it's kind of like a vision board in there but i usually have it like with post-its you no know, different notes for motivation like mm -hmm. inspiration and things like that but what i do on my journal is i i have a i write down a list of things that i want to to get it could be you know items but it could be something else you know like i want to get a core you know sign up for a course or coaching things like that so i do a whole list of things that i want for the year and sometimes as the year goes along i add more to it and then as i i get them i just check mark check mark and check mark and i like that feeling i like to go back to that list and check mark every time i get something I check my that. So that's another way is for you is, is too hard or you don't feel like doing a um a vision war. Do something like that and it also helps. Um it could be, you know, like I want to sign five clients, ten clients, whatever I wanna do it. You know, like one client today, check, one client next month, check, you know, things like that. It will help you. It's it's incredibly motivating. So try that. Um basically with all of this what you're we're trying to do is setting um the stage for effective planning and so when you have a clear record of uh, your past successes you are better equipped for you know to set realistic goals and for the future and this is again this is very important because sometimes we start looking in on social media the different overnight successes that are there with the different mark that which a lot of them are like marketing strategies for like making it seem like overnight success but it's never really overnight success and um i like always to be you know my coaching when i talk to clients i'm always quite realistic i don't sell the you know the and i there's no magic one one to this it's not like cling and you know it's done so it, it this is you know I, I always say entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart it this is for the long game and it's it, it and it is in a straight line is it goes up and down like a roller coaster so be pre you know if you are hopefully you you are one two years in business you know that and if you didn't think of it that is basically how it is so if you were setting the stage here is to set you up with realistic uh, and inspiring goals for the future this is the whole purpose of this so you also get gain insight on on your strength um, and areas like i said where you can improve and you know self-awareness is quite powerful there's no two ways about it. It's like when I said to you about audience uh, expansion, uh, doing exer the, this exercise, I recognize that I need to work on that. So that obviously is not a, a strength for me, but it's an, an area where I need to improve and work on. And um, basically, always celebrate your accomplishment every goal that you every milestone that you do big or small because it's it's especially the small ones we always get past those we we don't tend to celebrate the small ones but those again are the ones that are going to fuel you to um keep going and then you will get to the bigger goals 
okay you will accomplish those so keep that in mind um step number three very important this is something that i work on with people with with my clients when they are like i don't know what it will be the next step um and they are a bit lost it's like that movie they are lost in in translation this is when you feel like that that's the time when you have to go back to your why okay it's like i said i think they use that also in, in a movie i think it was in in the godfather or something when they say they, they need to go back to the mattress whatever you need back to the drawing table but more than going to the drawing table i think what you need to to do is is um your why what why why did you start this business in the first place you know you are now a year down the road in in this journey or or two years in your journey and now you are like feeling eh i don't know why I that that is when you need to go back and say well why did i st i started this in the first place so why the you know why it matters basically because that's the driving force behind everything. If if you lose sight of, of your why, then you are not gonna feel the motivation to continue on this journey. Be and, and you're gonna give up. So you always have to go to that why. It's, it's that driving, f driving force. Your why is what is going, um, if you don't have that, is you're gonna get lost. You know, you know, it, it, it's easy to lose direction, but also you will feel disconnected to to towards you know to from your goals. So always, and I I from my experience, I will say to you that at different points in time, you're gonna have to question that yourself along the way because uh, it's like i said you are going up and down it's not a straight line and so there are moments where you're going to say oh my god what was you know I, i'm working so hard and i don't see the the gaining in this so this is where you have to go back and and do that i'm going to share with you some practical steps to discover your wise and like i said to you I'm not pretending here. I'm reading, you know, I'm following my outline so I can share this with you, all this. So number one will be daydream unrestricted. So take a moment and imagine a world where money and time pose no, no, no barriers. You know, like what would be your dream life? You know, think about, about all of that. Because your why often lies in these unrestricted daydreams. So to me, I'm, I'm, I'm quite clear on my why. So that, that's a good thing. And my why is basically travel and help other women uh, continue this journey. It's when they, you are stuck, when they, have, when they, when they don't know what, what is the next best step. Uh, to take in towards growing their business that it, that is what i love to help women you know in their businesses so yes i i got that very clear i want you know travel um have time with being able to spend have freedom and flexibility and, and financial freedom so i'm very clear um for you might be you want to have a side hustle you know for um uh, by extend you know have an extension on your home or or travel with your family or whichever the reason but they dream about it because that is also where your why is reflect on joyful moments you know look at the past year um what events or accomplishments is um, spark genuine fulfillment um there are different ones you know uh for me was going to north wales with my husband and you know we had a trailer and we went there and that was fun it was and that for me is is 
uh, the highlights, you know. So um, of of last year, and I have I have other, but that's one, you know, because it has to do with traveling. I I wanted to uh, share that with you guys. So yeah, um, those are the ones that you know are gonna connect you with your why. That's there's no doubt about it, and that also offer clues about what truly matters to you. Okay. Number three is identify your true priorities. Uh, if everything vanished tomorrow, what will you miss the most? Your why often revolves around uh, the things that you value most. For me, I think it will be tra traveling and friendship, obviously, family. But those, you know, <laughs> um, Friendship is a, yeah, is also families in, is, are very important. So then will be obviously travel. <laughs> I'm quite passionate about that. I just like um, experiencing other places, meeting other you know different people from different cultures. I've always been like that since very young. So so basically setting yourself, uh, setting the stage for pers. Uh, with purpose, purposeful full action. <laughs> um, your why might be like an abstract exercise, but if, uh, if it, it, it will help, it's about finding your purpose and passion. And as you can see, I, I think it, it, hopefully in this video got reflected what is my why. You know, I think I'm quite passionate about that. I'm passionate about entrepreneurship and business. I, I love that. Especially when, you know, more women are trying to um, set up businesses. Um, I'm, you know, I'm all in when it comes to that. So basically, again, you know, your why is what, is what you know, is your source of motivation on those challenging moments is the reason you push forward is the reason that uh, you strive for success and the reason you make a positive impact in the life of others. I think that basically sums it up right there about, about your why, about why it's so important to, to have a clarity when it comes to your why. So I want you to take time to reflect on this it may take you, maybe you already have figured it out, but you just had to like, oh yeah, I forgot about doing that. You know, like, let me keep that more present and and write it down, visualize and, you know, and keep it close to your heart. I think that's one of the most important things. Keep it close to your heart because it, that will be your guiding light to move forward in crafting, you know, your best year ever. So that basically where this uh, takes me today. This is basically the first part of planning your best year yet. There will be another video where I'm going to go on to the second part of planning your best year yet. So stay tuned. I hope you find this uh, information helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments about how you plan your year, when do you do it, whether you wait until like now January or you already don't, you know, you're, you already started doing that, the process back in December or November. So um, thank you for mu so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.